Hi friend, this is Dr. Kapoor Mehra and when we talk about TB spine, very often uh, you will be asked about what are the good prognostic factors. Young age has better healing capacity, will always have a good uh, prognostic factor. Active disease means a wet lesion which has got granulation tissue in it will have a good uh, prognostic factor because the ATT has a good chance to work on it. A deformity which is less than 60 degrees will always have a good prognostic factors, good prognosis as compared to more than 60. The normal uh, cord on MRI when the myelomalacic changes have not occurred is a good prognostic factors. Early onset disease means if the paraplegia is early onset in the first two years, it's good prognostic. If it's late onset, it's a poor prognostic. Slow progress, that is slow worsening, is uh, always a good prognostic factor as compared to rapid uh, worsening from motor to sensory to urinary involvement. Partial uh, involvement, that is not motor sensory urinary complete involvement is always a good prognostic factors. Active disease is a good prognostic factors. So these are the prognostic factors that you must always remember when you talk about TB spine. Tuberculosis of spine can be very well treated in today's world with good combination of ATT and rest. The counseling by a surgeon is very, very valuable. And uh, patients should be explained about the, the disease, the pathology, the complications it can have. And uh, if you follow the middle path regimen and if required, then a surgical intervention can be carried out. But majority people are able to handle it uh, with ATT and the rest along with the aid of the recent imaging modalities like MRI and the possibilities of the CT guided biopsies, the, the treatment has really been to the next level. And, uh, and if the patient is uh, sensitive to the first line drugs and you pick it up in uh, stage one of uh, the disease, usually the results are very encouraging. Thank you very much.